Saturday morning in London, and the place to be is the River Thames. Rowing is a popular sport in England. In fact, there are more than 200 rowing clubs, and several boathouses along the river offer lessons for about $50 a day. My husband Todd just arrived in town, and we're meeting up with our old friend Matt for a lesson. Hey, Matt! It's a nice canoe you got there, buddy. We got you some coffee. Good to see you. Long time no see. Hi there. Good to see you. <laughs> Matt lives in London and rows competitively for the London Rowing Club. So, Matt, I told you that the next time I came to London, I was going to let you teach me how to do this. So now Todd's going to do it with me. And I don't see anywhere to put our coffee cups. What do you think? What are we going to do with them? This model didn't come with cup holders. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? So you're going to be sculling. Yes. So you're holding a skull in each hand, and you always lead away with your left hand. So like this? No, that's swimming. No. <laughs> like this. It's just back and forth. Okay. They're funny guys this morning. So wait, how do I get in there, Matt? That is without getting my feet wet. Put your feet on the board here. And then put your bum on the seat. My bum on the seat? Todd's in. Rowing is a lot harder than it looks. But before too long, Todd and I find our rhythm. <laughs> so Matt, how about we take you to lunch for this? I'm starving. Yeah, me too. So how do we get? No, no, no! <laughs> Good on ya. <laughs> I was working out my. Sides. <laughs> Time for a quick cleanup and lunch. I am so excited about lunch. It's at the River Cafe, just up the street, with a great view of the Thames. Oh, what a glorious day. Okay, the best thing about that rowing was the fact that we get to have lunch now. I know. But I've actually worked up a hunger. I could chew your arm off. I'm so hungry right now. I need that. I think when you come here and the weather's beautiful, you should definitely get a seat by the water. Otherwise, you can sit in the dining room, which is also gorgeous. This is where Jamie Oliver, AKA the Naked Chef, was discovered, right? It's true, about 10 years ago. Yeah, but the food is phenomenal. Italian food, of course. I know, Italian food done by, by British. I don't know, no offense, but actually here, it's fantastic. Can we get uh, a bruschetta with mozzarella? Mm -hmm. Put it in the center of the table. Yeah. The artichokes. Sure. And then I'm going to have the spaghetti con granchio, the, the crab. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Of the branzino. Mm-hmm. And the tagliatelle for me, please. Okay. Cheers, boys. And that Cheers. Tomatoes. Cheers to our rowing team. Yes. <laughs> There's no mystery to the magic in the kitchen. Just pure, fresh ingredients like Todd's Branzino, grilled and paired with flash-fried zucchini strips. And Matt's pasta, tagliatelle with peas, prosciutto, olive oil, and pepper. Simple and easy. Look at those nice. colors. Yes, crab. Ooh, those look nice. And the Branzino. Oh, thank you. Ooh, Todd, fried zucchini. Okay. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Hey, boys, how are we going to cut that up? We'll leave it to the chef. All right, then. I'll just eat it all. No, I'm just kidding. And you're eating like a true Brit. You are eating your pasta with a fork and knife. Yeah. Look, crab meat. Very light. Just break up the crab. Throw it over some cooked pasta with a little dill, a little olive oil. Perfect. I have to say, though, my favorite thing about Todd's dish deep fried zucchini. It's like a tempura batter. Very light. And instead of putting, dipping them in ketchup, you just drizzle a little bit of lemon juice. Done like a true Italian. Coming up next, get the fire extinguisher. Put out the fire. Oh my gosh. For the hottest Indian food in the city. That's next on my weekend getaway in London, England.